scared, worried, difficult, disinterested. These are the terms which comes to most of the students' mind when a topic of discussion about maths comes, right? Except a very few, most of the students hate to study maths and are very weak in it. Everyone says maths is difficult, maths is tough, and because everyone says maths is difficult, it has actually become difficult for most of us before we even try doing it. This is a mindset which we all have developed towards maths as a subject. And before we even try doing it, we all assume that maths is boring and is not easy. Similarly, if we find someone who is strong at maths or find maths as an easy subject, we all consider him or her to be intelligent. So in today's video, I'm going to give you certain tips by following which one can find maths as interesting and easy to do. So the first thing is say no to fear of maths. The first and the foremost thing, change your mindset towards maths. Stop thinking maths is difficult or maths is tough because someone else said or someone else finds it difficult. Remove the fear of maths from your head and try to develop an interest towards it. Because unless you start showing interest towards it, you'll never find maths to be an easy subject. The second thing is focus on the concepts well. Make sure your basics, your concepts are clear. You need to have strong foundation. Try to understand the formula instead of just learning or remembering them. For example, a plus b whole square is a square plus 2ab plus b square. Try to understand the logic behind it that how is a plus b whole square a square plus 2ab plus b square. Similarly, when it comes to derivations, theorems, try to understand the concept behind it so that when you work on numericals or problems, it becomes easy for you to apply. The third and the most important thing when you study maths is concentration. Concentration is something which is very, very important when it comes to maths. You need to have your eyes and ears open because small mistake here and there can actually create your entire sum to be incorrect and can actually waste much of your time. So my advice to you is to please concentrate when you study maths and the best thing is to study maths when you're most active or during the most active part of your day. The fourth important tip is Follow a systematic order. When you're studying maths, following an order can make maths much easier. For example, when you're starting a new chapter, first try to understand the chapter well. Theory, formulas, derivations, understand the whole theory part well. If required, write down all the formulas of that particular chapter in a separate notebook. Then solve each and every examples of that particular chapter, then go to the exercise. Do one by one. If you go wrong here and there, check, double check where you went wrong. Try twice or thrice till you do it correctly. Still, if you are stuck, mark your doubts and clear it from your teachers. And in maths, most of the chapters are based on the previous ones. So it's very important that you go in an order. Most of the students, what they do is, they start with a new chapter, solve few sums, and if they're stuck, move on to a different chapter. In that chapter also, they do the same. Solve few sums, stuck, they leave the chapter and move on to a different, different one. So that's what they do. And this is a very wrong way of doing. Please do not do that. And let me tell you, maths is a subject where you can spend hours of studying, but end up doing nothing. And the last important tip which we all know is practice. Practice is everything in maths. The more you practice, the more it becomes easier for you. Set a particular time to study maths every day. Repeatedly working on problems can help your interest towards maths grow and gradually it becomes easier if you keep on practicing on a daily basis. There are a lot of different varieties of questions which are based on the same concepts but in different patterns. And you need to know well what method a particular question requires. And it can be achieved only through lots and lots of practice. And that's how you start growing interest towards it. And once you start loving it, you'll be addicted towards it. So these are the few important tips which can help your interest towards maths grow. So I hope this video is useful to you all. And if you like my video, please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you all soon next time in my next video.